previously in Borderlands. Boom. Oh. He just took a missile to the face, girl. Of course he's hurt. Hey guys, this is Chocobo Girl, and welcome back to my Borderlands Let's Play. Last I left off, I said we were gonna go ahead and go over here and uh, loot this stash, which is a gun stash for um, for the quest. So now that I've reloaded, what I'm gonna do it. I currently have two slots. Yes, I know this. <laughs> uh, let's see. My actually goes down a lot, but my damage goes up. And then for this gun, the damage on this one is better, and the fire rate is bad. So, I mean, this one does a lot more damage. I'll stick with this for now. But, um, when you go up here, and you get up here, like, a good ways, what's gonna happen is, um, well, you're gonna aggro a bunch of gags. But, if you get close enough to the door, you'll be greeted by... What? Oh, you were shooting me. Skill points. Yes, I know how to use skill points. You'll be greeted by some midget psychos, if I'm not mistaken. So anyway... Um, I'll use the ability that I get for the boss, so what I'm gonna do is go here and spend and get his, uh, action skill, as you can tell, because they give you a tutorial on that, too. Seems like you get a tutorial on everything. Ooh. Really? So yeah, anyway, these are our first <laughs> psycho midgets, and, uh, they sound... Kind of funny, don't they? <laughs> anyway, <laughs> um, yeah, uh, I'll probably get downed or maybe die a couple of times on this boss because he stomped me when I played through on my You're siren. About to face your first real challenge. I hope you've toughened up enough. Yeah, one can hope. Uh, first <laughs> About that. So anyway, what happens is you you basically just go in here, guns blazing, kill stuff. Um, I oops. come on now. At least on the positive side, I'm still... Let my shield regen. I don't understand what's going on because I'm hitting these guys with the little red circle on my screen. But I think it's probably the accuracy of this gun because where I'm aiming, it's not the bullets aren't exactly flying there. So maybe I should have switched out for a better accurate a more accurate gun so anyway what's gonna happen here is um we're gonna face nine toes and um if I, I don't really remember who the heck we turned this into but you're about to meet nine toes and like i said i do apologize because this is uh a series where language is definitely there so you'll see what i mean here in a second you woke the wrong dog. Ah, yeah! Nine Toes also has three balls. Quite the, uh... Mm -hmm. So, what happens is you basically go up here and punch the living crap out of him. With, uh... Um, and this is basically Brick's ulti. Now, um, I wouldn't be surprised if I somehow managed to down here. Because 
of this dog. And woohoo! I did it without dying. So anyway, um, this is where we actually start getting semi-decent stuff for once. This well, fire gun. So I can tell you right now, I'm already gonna grab this because um, fire weapons are great against flesh, and and I got a grenade mod that it's gonna tell me about, which means that my grenades. And thank you, Clappy. So yeah, um, when you get over here and you kill him, make sure that you don't go back immediately. You're wanna go. You're gonna wanna go to the back of his thing to loot the chest. So nope. And I'm getting really unlucky with the loot. So anyway, Brick's ability is just that of berserking and um beating of the ever living daylights out of what how did i level from looting something oh dear this is this is where it gets i guess melee damage because that's what his special is <laughs> sorry for the retarded breathing But, um, I really don't want to spend, how the, oh, that was, that was supposed to be an elevator backup, but I kind of just, yeah. Anyway, um, I'm not, like I said, I'm not really sure how I turn this into, I don't know if I turn this into TK, or if I turn this into, uh, Zed. And then my arm. It is just so bad, and I don't want to scratch it. That was the first step on your journey. Yes. You must listen. Mm -hmm. Who I am is not important. Lies! The first thing you must know, the vault is real. Yes. People will mislead you. Oh, God. Try to use you, not be swayed in your purpose. The vault is here, and we yes. will find it. This world is full of dangers. Steal yourself and go. No kidding. As if we didn't know it was already dangerous. Thank you for pointing out the obvious angel. What? Where? Oh, they're coming. Joy! Run! I shouldn't be running because I should honestly be trying to get as many levels as I possibly can. Is niche, please. Uh, yeah, Brick. Yeah. Ow. Whack. Whack. How am I missing the shotgun? Now, I'm gonna try not to, like, overuse his ability. Because I will let you know right now, when I played my Siren, like, any chance I got, I was popping her ability. But her ability is super OP. Like, words, words cannot describe the amount of OP that her uh, ability is. And I think with one of those, I can buy ammo, but I don't feel like I'm in really desperate need right now. Um, back to the Arid Highlands, I suppose. Or Arid Badlands, not Highlands. Wow. Wow. It's like right there on screen and I can't even read it. Okay, so if I hit M, it'll show me on my map where I need to go, and I'm assuming that that's just TK. Um, and if I'm talking with a little bit of a lift right now, it's because, um, I don't know if you guys ever get these, but, uh, I have a bump on the side of my tongue. And whenever I get these bumps on my tongue, I always kind of, like, push my tongue to the right when I talk, which causes me to talk with a slight lift. I'm doing the lisp thing on purpose. I know. It's annoying. But uh, I talk with a slight lisp, and it's because I think it's it, it gets painful to me to some degree. So, now I gotta go talk to Zed. 
which is uh, back in Firestone. Sure thing, buddy. But like I said, he he, I like TK just because he has really, really random as hell quests, or not quests, but like side conversations. And um, like I've said in like my past videos, I apologize because I just like the characters in this game and a bunch of other games have like serious language. I was raised around military, so and I think I've said this before. So I'm very used to being around cussing, and I do it a lot. And uh, to be perfectly honest, my favorite one is the F-bomb. And I'm trying to avoid that with my subscribers, because I do not know how young any of you are, and I don't want to offend. And I know that there are some people who are younger than well, me who are cussed, but at the same time, I just, sometime. you know, don't you really want to. Check out the bounty board anyway. Else has a job for you. So the bounty board is located not too terribly far from where we're standing. You pretty much just go over here to where. What? What? <laughs> okay. So this is the bounty board. I was gonna say it's right next to Claptrap, but then I got distracted by him dancing, and then that thing that he just did. So um, this is um, I guess right now we're. Yes, I know which if you go into your quest log basically it's just uh, you telling you Yeah, so <laughs> um that's just one reason why I like Scooter. He does really perverted humor. And um yeah, I just Scooter's funny. So, this is the catch a ride system. When you use it, um, for some reason it glitched out when I was playing my siren and I had to like restart the game entirely. Um, this is gonna ask you to kill Bonehead. I personally am not at the right level for this kind of nonsensory. What? What? Really? So, I'm gonna go see TK instead because I feel like his quests are actually doable. Now, um, mind you, like I said, is I've... Dude, you can just leave me to hell alone. Anyway, I, like I said, I pretty much have played, like, um, this game when the, the, like, Smells I don't know what like you want to call it, the Game of the Year edition came out? I think that's what it was called. Are you liking our planet anyways? Thanks. Um, so I did that, and I think if I'm not mistaken... For the next couple of quests, you go to where, um, oh, sorry, I had a hiccup again. I hate those things. Anyway, you go in here, and, um, he asks you to do a couple of quests for him in here. Now, they're not, like, um, you'll have to bear with me, because I think this is as far as I got on my siren. Because I haven't really just been playing Borderlands and I nor have I really been recording. So, um what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna you know what I'm not even gonna bother with these guys. Um Scar is a um skag, if you guys don't know, the skag basically that killed his wife and took one of his legs. In case you didn't notice when I was looking at TK, one of his leg is legs is missing. See there goes part of that list because I'm talking funny right now. Ratner. And this is another quest. So, uh, I have to find two more data recorders. And you can't really tell what they're saying. So anyway, I'm gonna go into my log here. And, um, no matter what quest I do, they're gonna be tough. So I think, to be honest, what I'm probably gonna do is get TK's limbs. So, that said, um, I know I didn't get a lot done in this episode, so, um, I apologize for that. What I'm gonna do, though, is go ahead and start this, um, start this quest next episode, and hope and pray that you guys still keep in touch and enjoy this series. So, uh, you know, once again, this has been Chocobo Girl, and I am playing Borderlands, and, um, I will see you all later. Oh,